Oh, schau, da gibt es Pellets. Wir können Pellets nach Österreich importieren. Barilla, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, buongiorno in Centro Lanza. Uh, Nice little shopping center here at the vicinity um, of Trieste, and I'm pretty surprised, pretty um, you know, astonished actually about all the, the choices that you have here. Pretty cool supermarket. Got some fresh meats, some fresh cheeses, quite a good selection of fruits and vegetables. Of course, the, the oranges look great. Gonna take some of those. And um, yeah, let's see what else we get. And then we hopefully get another climbing day in. It's actually quite close to the Napoleonica Craig, the supermarket. <laughs> Wow, this Coop, really good supermarket, must say, excellent choice, full of people man, it's gotta be good with how strongly frequented it is, really nice personnel right around the corner of the climbing area, what more could you ask for, um, really recommend it. So yeah, I think we're gonna have a little snack now. And uh, yeah, really like the oranges, man. One thing I love about getting to the south, you know, climbing a little bit in the south in the winter is then the, the citrus fruits are in season, right? And the oranges. Mm. Just so much better than back at home in Austria. We're gonna get back on these rocks today. And as I said in the last vlog, one thing it's really helpful, I think, for a lot of comebackers and beginners in general, is fall training. And I definitely lack fall practice. Today's focus, today's focus is gonna be making a little bit of a fall training, first thing of the session, and then we go a little harder on those rocks, maybe. Maybe we find some a little bit more overhanging challenges than last time, right? And see how they go. Definitely can feel the last session a bit. It was yesterday, I didn't have a rest day. So, uh, conditions are about the same, <laughs> it's cloudy, it's above 10 degrees, around 10 degrees or so. Let's see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're jumping right into it. I've got no less than 10 juicy falls prepared for you, nicely edited, hopefully, so that we can draw some as useful conclusions as possible from this stuff, okay? And at the end, because you're so lucky, damn you're lucky. You will get no less than two very important take-home messages when it comes to fall training, but also falling in general and belaying, dynamic belaying in general, okay? If you're generally interested in this topic, I can highly recommend you check out my video How to Belay Dynamically, which goes into really, the, really deep depth, okay, when it comes to this whole subject. But what is, what is a fall training in general? It is a sequence of falls that you announce or not announce to your belayer, mostly done in uh, lead climbing because it's arguably more effective, although it's also more challenging in that mode. You can also do it at top rope, but it's of course more challenging and more effective in uh, lead. Yeah? So I told uh, Katrin, who is my belayer here, and I'm gonna do some announced falls, yeah? And I will start doing that when I got my second quick draw clipped, which is the, uh, the case here right now. Uh, what we plan to do here is we get to the quick draw 
uh, with a little bit of slack, you know. As you can see here, I'm just not very far away from that quick draw. It's about 20, 30 centimeters, and bang, here comes the first fall. Yeah. So that we can take a closer look at each of these falls. I also, you know, try to repeat them a little bit in slow mo and show you how much slack, how much distance we actually have from the last clipped quick draw. Yeah. If you do stuff like that, I would highly recommend you get at least two quick draws in before you start your first falls. You could argue, well, how is how useful is that? You can also fall at the first quick draw. Yes, that's true. And you can actually also do fall training from the first clipped quick draw. But you know, with Katrin here, it was the case that she was a little bit hesitant. You know, she didn't do this very often yet. And uh, we just wanted to take it easy for, for a second, you know, <laughs> for, for once. And uh, we started from, from the second clip quick draw. Yeah? So now that we established some confidence, not only in the climber, but also in the belayer from this first fall, we can do some further falls. Here we got a quote unquote unannounced fall. I was quite below the last clip quick draw and had a little foot slip there and I decided although I was able to hold myself on there why not make that into an unannounced fall as well yeah so when you start a fall training I would recommend you tell your belayer you know what I'm gonna get the first two quick draws in then I'm gonna do two announced falls and then I will start also to mix some unannounced falls in there they can be announced but they also can be unannounced okay so this way your belayer has to be always ready and this is also something that you want, yeah? your belayer should be always ready for falls anyway. So you gotta have those unannounced falls in there. Taking a look at this fall here, we are about, I don't know, maybe half a meter, if, it, if it's a lot. Yeah? We are above the last clip quick draw, the second quick draw. There is not a lot of friction in the system yet, so as you can see, I'm coming down here quite a bit. Yeah? I'm coming down here like two, three meters or something like that, maybe even more. Nothing too serious, nothing too big yet but we are getting there, okay? And that is the whole purpose of this thing. You establish more and more confidence in the climber and in the belayer and making bigger and bigger falls and this way crushing fear of falling. As you can see, we're getting the third quick draw in now. This, these routes here are not super high. We are still in Napoleonica. Uh, so we're doing what we can do here. Eh? But here, as you can see, I'm considerably above the last quick, quick draw already, I think, what is that? Maybe one and a half meters or something, one meters and 30 centimeters. Maybe it's also one, only one meter. But for short routes like these and also vertical, you know, it's not very overhanging there. It's kind of vertical, a bit slabby, even at some points. These are challenging falls, okay? You know, for beginners, psychologically, uh, it's sometimes harder to actually fall into the overhang, into the thin air, into free air. Yeah? Although this is actually the terrain for fall training that is the least dangerous. It is the least dangerous terrain in general for falling. Yeah? So that's why you can actually get quite high above the last clip quick draw in those terrains. But here, where it's vertical and slabby, getting so, so high above the last clip quick draw, that's a bit of a challenge. Yeah? And uh, yeah, this is, I think, the biggest fall that I took in this fall training. Definitely one and a half meters or something above the last clipped quick draw. Quick draw number three here. As you can see, we're getting cl quite close here. At the end of the fall, the layer and climber are at the same height. And this is nothing unusual, okay? This is completely okay. Uh, this is something that is almost always hand handleable because rarely the climber just gets down in the exact same spot where the belayer is. Uh, sometimes that occurs, but uh, rather rarely, and then you can even, even then you can handle it. Yeah, this was one last unannounced fall, which I just simply threw in there for Katrin so that she stays alert and stays uh, ready for for more falls. Okay, I also wanted to to get this kind of fall training done at this day because I wanted to try uh, another 7A plus of the crack, which by the way crushed me, which I am gonna analyze, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna just uh, throw that on the Patreon. It's gonna be some bonus footage on the Patreon. And here, as you can see at the finish of this fall training, um, I'm just simply finishing off the root, roof, uh, the root, and uh, getting the anchor in. And then we made a partner switch, okay? So I wanted to give Katrin also the opportunity to have a bit of a fall training with an, you know, relatively experienced belayer that she can trust. And uh, yeah, that was, I think, also very uh, well received. As you can see here, she's getting the first two quick draws in. Remember, she's singing. Yeah, okay. That, of course, had, had to be thrown in there as well. Um, a bit above the uh, last clip quick draw and bang, quite a bit of a fall. Um, 
what you should notice and now we're actually getting closer to the first take-home message that I have here for you uh, when it comes to these falls when you look at Katrin there's a little bit of a difference in her falling style compared to my falling style I really tried to um, fall as close to the wall as possible uh, which is quite of a challenge, arguably, when it is not steep terrain like it is here, vertical and slabby. Yeah, because you're gonna fall quite close to the wall, and the wall is gonna—I mean, the wall is always the number one hazard when it comes to injuries and stuff like that. When it comes to falling, yeah. So you wanna actually stay away from the wall. The problem is, if you're jumping away from the wall in vertical terrain, you will actually get pulled towards the wall later on as the rope tightens. And you can see that very nicely here in Catherine's case. Uh, she's jumping a little bit more away from the wall always and that's why she gets a little bit more pulled towards the wall at the end of her falls. Nothing serious, nothing major, yeah? but it's, it's a slight difference compared to my falls and we're gonna have a side-by-side -side comparison at the end of this fall training so that we can actually show that. Here she's getting quite high above her last clip quick draw, which I think is uh, clip uh, quick draw number three. And she's a bit hesitant here uh, to take this fall, but it's, it just ended up to be another beautiful fall. Yeah, so really proud of her that she did that uh, so con consequently. I think she did a really good job on these falls and on her belaying, by the way, as well, in general, during this fall training. Uh, it's not an easy task, I would say, for uh, a lot of especially girls let's be honest because they are a little bit more afraid of the heights you know of jumping from afar and uh yeah but that's why they can often profit from fall training even more yeah so let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison between a fall of mine and a fall of katrin very comparable fall very comparable heights there heights above the last clip quick draw but i think you can see the phenomenon of jumping away from the wall here very nicely and now I also wanted to show you the comparison between uh, the belayer, how active the belayer has to jump, yeah? how actively. As you can see, you should be able to see a quite difference, quite significant difference here in the way of how, how strongly we are pulled towards the wall. There's quite a significant weight difference between Katrin and I. I am a lot heavier, well a lot heavier, but at least 10 or 15 kilos or something. That's why I have to jump away a lot more actively to belay her dynamically than she has to. Yeah? And this is obviously something that you always have to take into account when you do a fall training like that. I'm going into a lot more detail when it comes to the uh, video how to belay dynamically. Yeah? But this is as much as I, as I got for you. The two take home messages is stay as close to the wall as possible if you're falling even in vertical and slabby terrain so that you don't get as much pull towards the wall later on when the rope tightens. And if there is a weight difference between the two climbers, you have to take that into account. Lighter climbers don't have to jump away as actively than heavier climbers, okay? Always correspond after each fall, how did the fall feel for the climber. And uh, this way we can all increase our confidence when it comes to falling and that way simply we also increase our performance when climbing. Yeah, We're not going to climb as hesitantly, we're not going to be as shaky we are going to be more, we're going to have more um, performance, especially on flashes and on sites where we cannot train simply uh, falls, falls prior to actually making a sending attempt, right? Because the first attempt is going to be the sending attempt. But yeah, I'm going into a lot more detail than I need to already. Hope you're strong and healthy out there. Maybe you recognize this beautiful uh, church tower here behind me. If you do, then you know that we're going to get our asses kicked today by a rough, rough uh, crag here near the coast of Trieste as well. I'm gonna see you soon. Stay strong. Bye.